The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatli Fazayani, participated in the joint ministerial meeting between the foreign ministers of GCC countries and the United States on the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The ministers discussed ways to further develop aspects of cooperation between the GCC countries and the U.S. in various fields. The ministers also reviewed the latest developments in the regional situation, international developments, and ways to intensify cooperation and coordination to confront the various challenges that threaten regional and international security. The two sides affirmed their mutual de determination to build closer relations in all fields and develop a collective approach uh, to regional issues. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif bin Rashid Zayani, took part in the annual consultative meeting of the Arab League Council at the ministerial level. The ministers discussed a coordination among Arab countries regarding the UNGA 78 agenda and the high-level meetings they will participate in. The meeting aims to coordinate Arab countries' stances via the issues to be raised, enhance joint Arab action and promote cooperation towards greater integration and solidarity. The ministers also discussed uh, the latest uh, developments in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, as well as efforts to support the Palestinian issue at this global gathering, particularly ways to enhance Arab coordination with regional and international organizations in this regard. The Minister of Foreign Affairs participated in the joint ministerial meeting between the Arab countries and the European Union on efforts for peace in the Middle East, organized by Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, the Arab League and the European Union. Prospects for reviving the peace process in the Middle East were discussed and views were exchanged on ways to coordinate Arab-European efforts in addressing the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and its impact on security and stability in the region. The minister emphasized the need to intensify international efforts to reach a permanent solution to the Palestinian cause and fulfill the aspirations of the Palestinian people for the establishment of their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital, in accordance with the principle of a two-state solution. The Arab Peace Initiative and relevant international legal of resolutions. The minister praised the initiative of participating countries to revive the Middle East peace process and explore two state solutions for Palestinian stability and security. He stated that Bahrain took the initiative in 2019 to organize the Peace to Prosperity Workshop, which shed light on the potential for achieving economic growth and a better future for both the Palestinian and Israeli peoples. He also added that the kingdom took a historic step in 2020 by signing the Abraham Accords and establishing diplomatic relations with Israel with the aim of supporting efforts for peace and stability in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs participated in the joint ministerial meeting between the GCC and the UK, held at the permanent mission of Oman to the UN in New York. The two sides discussed uh, the long-standing relations between the GCC countries and the UK, lauding its development in all fields in light of the mutual keenness to further advance the aspects of joint cooperation in the political, security, economic and development fields to more comprehensive levels to achieve mutual interests. They also discussed regional and international developments and their repercussions on security, stability and regional and global peace, as well as ways to expand areas of joint political coordination at all levels on various regional and international issues and challenges of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs attended the reception hosted by the Federal Chancellor of Germany, Olaf Scholz, at the UN headquarters in New York on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of Germany's membership in the UN. During the ceremony, Dr. Zayani conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Federal Chancellor and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to Germany and its people. The Minister congratulated Scholz on the occasion, praising Germany's role in supporting the efforts and objectives of the UN. He also lauded the relations of friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and Germany and its development due to the common interests of the leadership of the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs participated in a joint ministerial meeting between the GCC and the Association of Caribbean States, ACS, held in New York. They discussed the relations between the GCC and ACS and ways to take advantage of the existing opportunities to enhance cooperation between the two sides. They also reviewed increasing joint coordination between the two sides in international forms and exchanging visits and experiences. 
The two sides signed an MOU for cooperation and joint action plan between the General Secretariat of the GCC and ACS. It was signed by GCC Secretary General Jason Libdewi and by the ACS Secretary General Rodolfo Sabonj. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Khleif, participated in the Sustainable Development Goals 2023 summit held on the sidelines of the, 70, the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The President of the United Nations General Assembly, Dennis Francis, began the session by affirming the importance of the summit, which is an opportunity to evaluate the developments of achieving the goals on sustainable developments and its global challenges. The UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, delivered a speech reviewing the challenges and divisions of the world today, which posed as an obstacle for the UN. He affirmed the importance of creating a strategy to rescue the goals of sustainable development and deal with the threats of climate change. During the summit, the political declaration was also adopted, which reaffirmed shared commitment to end poverty and states that climate change is a major challenge. Bahrain's development journey is full of creative initiatives and opportunities in accordance with ambitious strategic plans aimed at achieving the highest levels of progress and sustainable development in all aspects of life, which qualified the kingdom to, be, to always be present and proactive in global efforts to achieve sustainable development goals. International efforts in the field of sustainable development have sought and continue to seek to achieve 17 goals and in an effort to communicate and clarify them to various societies and people of the world. A number of high-level international conferences and meetings have been held with large governmental, civil and community participation. Bahrain has worked to develop the concept of sustainable development in Bahraini society and has presented dozens of effective awareness programs and initiatives that have laid the appropriate cultural, social and governmental foundation to facilitate access to sustainable development goals. The Ministry of Information announced the launch of the Media Talent Award 2023 under the patronage of the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, with the aim of discovering young Bahraini media talents and enabling them to provide professional media productions within the Ministry's vision of developing the audiovisual media movement and supporting Bahraini media caters. The Minister of Information affirmed the importance of training young media caters as talent is one of the most important basic building blocks of creativity and nurturing it from an early age results in its development. He thanked Amkeen for its support to media initiatives that contribute to enhancing the capabilities of Bahraini youth, expressing hope that the award results in opening new horizons for promising youth after two months of intensive training accompanied by specialists in the media field. The award falls under the Creative Lab initiatives launched by the Ministry of Information last year and this year's edition focuses on the subject of presenting and producing radio and television programs. The award includes two competitions in the field of production and presentation in the Arabic and English languages. Applications for the award will be open from September 17th to the 30th. The Government Service Center Evaluation Committee held a roundtable on launching the fourth cycle of the uh, Taqiyim program in the presence of leaders of customer service development centers and government agencies. The meeting aims to discuss the latest developments on the development of the Government Service Center Evaluation Guide and review the best government practices in the field of customer service. The session discussed finding the best methods for the development of services provided to customers. The meetings will uh, create a positive impact and impress results like the ones seen through the previous sessions.